Okay, so to make the top, uh, we're going to take this um, brassiere and we're going to cover this uh, with the chiffon fabric. Uh, the print on this is actually similar to the print of the dress design. So there's no need for lining. Now the, the fabric that this is sewn in is a stretchy nylon type of fabric. The fabric that we're using is a chiffon which doesn't have the stretch so therefore we have to create a few folds and gathers to manipulate it to fit to the shape of the brassiere. Uh, so what I've done with this is uh, these are the shoulder straps and uh, I've cut into the shoulder strap and basically the back where uh, the shoulder strap is actually attached to here I've taken that off and this what we're going to do is we're going to cover this because this brassiere is going to become like a halter neck so uh, we can actually do away with this completely as there isn't going to be the need for it but what I'm going to do is just to conform to the shape of you know the straps I'm going to leave this in and uh, I'm going to be creating two sort of lengthy pieces to cover this that will actually form like a and these are going to be like fairly narrowish straps that will tie it around the neck They're going to be quite lengthy because we want additional piece to go extend over uh, the uh, around the neck. Now, the pieces that we're going to use to cover the bras uh, bra brasier. I don't want to call it a bra because it seems like almost like offensive. The way we're going to cover this is I've cut a piece of to the shape of the actual bra and basically what I've done is placed a piece of fabric on top of it and cut around and then placed a dart in between just to you know and this I'm going to take around and I'm going to hand stitch on the inside of the bras, uh, brasier after I've pleated this so that it actually uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all do a seaming all around the edge of this so that it's easier to fold and tuck inside. Um, she wanted a slight bit of this lace part showing so around the part where is the lace uh, I'm going to have to sort of hand stitch this uh, on a very narrow sort of margin. I can actually <coughs> probably machine stitch this as well. <coughs> but by pre-seaming this this will slightly shape uh, the almost like a cup size the other pieces that we require is <coughs> the covering for this now what I may do is um, the bottom portion of this the one side is slightly cut at an angle from where the dart is formed and I'm actually going to attach this together and then it's going to form the part of so we're going to use the template almost like the template of the bra itself and by placing making sure to get this And again, I'm going to seam this and attach it on the inside of uh, the bra. Uh, 